Hello internet, internet. Big Dave here, and I am Chief. Welcome to Revisited. On this episode, we are going to take a second look at Steel Storm Burning Retribution from the team over at Caught in Action Creative Artel. For those of you encountering Revisited for the first time, it's a series that I tried out a while ago and I wasn't really super happy with the way it went, but I decided to try and revive it. The basic idea here is that this is a second impression. I talked to you guys about this game. Did I keep playing it after the first impression? Do I still play it today? And I take a second fresh look at it to try and determine if my feelings might have changed. This rebirth of Revisited was brought about by the news that Steel Storm Burning Retribution was indeed celebrating its one-year anniversary. As of May 11th, it is one year old, and I thought we needed to celebrate that because it was one of the games that I played early on that I really enjoyed, and I think it deserves a second look. It is also currently on sale on Steam for a mere $1.69. It's the daily deal, so that will go away in about 20 hours. But, fret not, I also have a copy that I am going to give away. Details on that later in the video. Now let's get down to the business of revisiting Steel Storm Burning Retribution. The first question that I always want to answer on an episode of Revisited is, did I continue to play the game after the initial first impression video? The answer in this case is, yes, sort of. I put about another 5 hours into the game, that is not to say that I got 5 hours into the game. No. I was spinning my wheels for quite some time, finding the game very difficult. I really hit a wall and just could not overcome it. So eventually I did give up after really playing the same couple of levels over and over. Now this game does build itself as an old school shooter and I really wasn't ready at that time to play a game like this. I must say that my shooter skills had atrophied, and eventually games like Jamestown and Scorgasm would come into my life and help me rebuild those skills. So did these newfound skills translate into me enjoying the game more on a second look? Well the short answer to that question is yes. The long answer is, man this game is hard. So yes, my revitalized shooter skills did indeed get me past the previous stumbling block the one that was tripping me up in my first playthrough. However, after about two or three more levels, I did eventually hit another wall. Basically, I hit my personal skill ceiling. It's something that's going to happen to you in difficult games. And make no mistake, Steel Storm Burning Retribution is built from the ground up to be a difficult game. I was playing on easy and was still quite overwhelmed by the sheer difficulty of the particular section that frustrated me. Now, while my particular personal experience ended up being a bit maddening, it's actually really good news for those of you out there who like really, really difficult games. The last couple of years has really seen a renaissance in hard games. Super Meat Boy, I Want to Be the Guy, The Binding of Isaac, and Steel Storm Burning Retribution. These are all really hard as nails games that challenge the player to overcome these things through sheer skill alone. There are very few tricks that you can use to get around the traps that are waiting for you in Steel Storm Burning Retribution, and that's the idea. If you're in the intended audience for this game, then you will absolutely love this game. Casual players may find it a little bit frustrating when you actually try to jump into the game and by level 3, you find yourself throwing your hands up because you just can't get past that particular boss enemy. But the fact of the matter is you're never going to make a game that is universally loved by everyone who ever plays it, so there's no point in even trying that. Steel Storm Burning Retribution is a bold statement by Caught in Action. These guys picked a star on the horizon, and they sailed towards it unflinchingly. And when they landed, they knew exactly where they were going to be, and they were happy to be there. This game is difficult, but it's worth your time, and that's coming from a guy who quit it out of frustration after playing for an hour. This game needs to exist. Games like this need to exist. These games are the balls of the gaming industry. In a world where AAA titles are dumbed down and have an hour of tutorials, or in some cases a lot more, these are the games that we need to be out there. And Caught in Action are the sort of ballsy developer that we need to be out there. 
Well, that's pretty much going to wrap for my revisit of Steel Storm Burning Retribution. What did we learn about this game? Well, after the first impression, I learned that this game is really, really hard. On a second look, months later, I confirmed that this game is really, really hard. It's also graphically beautiful. It has a diverse set of weapons and power-ups. It is a wonderful title. It is worth your time. I am going to continue to have it installed because I will keep going back to it like that lady who goes back to her abusive boyfriend. It keeps saying it's going to change, but every time I go back, it's the same old thing, and I end up with a black eye. All right, guys, I have been Big Dave. This has been a revisit of Steel Storm Burning Retribution, and until next time, take it easy.